and mistresses of defense. Be it in your opinion that Baldwin von Trier stand amongst you as a master of defense. Aye. 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 Please call him forward. Their Majesty summoned before them Baldwin von Trier. I don't know how I expected anything other than lozenge on you today. <laughs> Please. Is there a royal peer? Yes, there's a royal here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> 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 Were you ready? <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Especially at the beginning here. I'm not Countess Gwen, but I play her in court. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings unto all assembled. I'm so very sorry I was unable to attend this happy occasion, but honored that my words were requested. Others will speak to Baldwin's prowess. I will speak to something more nebulous. In addition to being a combatant, Baldwin is also a bard. While these two arts seem quite disparate, they actually have much in common. For example, a single note sung on its own can be grating or strange. However, put it in with other notes, either in sequence or in harmony, and the note transforms into a song or a symphony. So it is with rapier. A single fighter can have a single move which is not graceful or powerful. It alone is grating and strange. But put with other moves, cuts and thrusts and voids, it transforms into something more than the sum of its parts. A single shot becomes a dance. A deadly one, perhaps, but a dance nonetheless. So it is with nobility. Nobility is not comprised of a single act. It is a series of actions which demonstrate the quality of character which we would describe as being noble. As a royal peer, I'm supposedly an expert on nobility. To be honest, I'm not sure how anyone could possibly be an expert on nobility itself, but perhaps on the root definition of nobility, which is the quality of being noble in character or rank. I don't think it is so easily defined, though. Noble isn't something you do. It's something, something you are. It's in the way you speak, not what you say. It's how you carry yourself, not where you're going. It's composure in the tempest and kindness in adversity. It's taking a tournament fought with a weapon and turning it into a dance with a beloved partner. This is what a peer does, and it's what I see in Baldwin. With every turn, he exemplifies these nebulous qualities which, together, comprise nobility. And it is my wholehearted belief, by personal observation and by word fame from faraway lands, that Baldwin exemplifies this quality I wholeheartedly recommend him to you, Kenneth Squiver, Virgil, and F. Morgan, Order of the Law. Is there a member of the chivalry to attest to Baldwin's chivalry? Your Majesties, I am Count Cadian, and I have known Baldwin through about pretty much his entire career. I was there when he authorized rapier, I was there when he authorized armored, and I have seen him not only become a man who is a master of the rapier, but also a master of the long sword, and is perhaps the premier cut and thrust fighter in our kingdom. He will represent North Shield on the field with great prowl, your majesty. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a master or mistress of the laurel to attest to his talents? Yes, your majesties. To speak of someone's uh, arts, in this case, is extremely easy. Baldwin, having done beautiful leather work in the past, still more notable, as has been mentioned, his bardic, where he has marched to you know, the armies of North Shield into battle many times, and his exquisite work with steel, 
He has created roses of such ver such lifelike beauty <laughs> that they have been given as prizes to many of the roses of the known world. And his art has decorated royal houses throughout many of your companion kingdoms. I am very happy to commend him as a laurel and as a peer. I such roses decorate our own home. Is there a master or mistress of the pelican to attest to his service? Aye, there is. I am Mistress Isabella Beatrice de la Rosa, companion of the Order of the Pelican. Remarking on Baldwin's service is easy. One just needs to attend an event he is also attending, and you will easily see him helping in every capacity you could think of, from attending to rapier activities, to setting up and tearing down <coughs> fort, to helping set up or tear down multiple encampments. Even today, during his own vigil, he served the rapier population by cleaning their blades as they gave him counsel. <coughs> I've seen him serve at every event that we have mutually attended. What stands out the most to me, though, is the service I am certain he is unaware of. We attended a Gulf Wars where a massive storm went through during the scheduled royal court. We were packed in Sir Murdoch's merchant tent as this horrible storm raged outside. Court was paused so a number of our populace could help prevent another merchant's tent from collapsing. The rest of us were waiting in the tent and several of us, including me, were becoming increasingly nervous and scared about our safety. His Majesty asked Baldwin to sing a song during the break and the energy in the tent instantly switched from one of stress to calm enjoyment. Baldwin served his king, per, kingdom perfectly with just one song. With this information in mind, I heartily commend him unto you. Thank you. Is there a member of the populace to speak to his qualities? Aye, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Your I am Baron Bassin. De la Mesa, and I will speak of Baldwin. When I think of the fighting peerages, of course, I think of the fight. I have watched and I have faced this man in more than a few tournaments, as well as stood at his shoulder as we defended our kingdom together in multiple wars. His prowess is of no question. There are the finer things. There is grace, there is intelligence, there is the ability to do both lead and teach difficult qualities. I have watched this man grow up and do amazing work in all of these. In very short, Even though he is younger than I, I often enjoy and appreciate this man's counsel on very important <coughs> matters. When I someday grow up, <laughs> Baldwin is the man I aspire to be. And in this, I commend him unto you. seek excellence in all endeavors, displaying courage in service to the kingdom, not for their renown, but for the good of all. A master must always seek justice, truth tempered with mercy. A master must remain loyal to the people and the ideals he chooses to live by. A master must always defend their kingdom, their family, and those who depend upon them. A master must have the courage to sacrifice for the precepts and people they value. A master must have faith in their beliefs while never diminishing the beliefs of another. A master values the contributions of others according to them renowned rightfully earned. A master must be generous as far as their resources allow. A master recognizes that true nobility arises from the journey, not the destination.
seek to emulate this as sincerely as possible. Not for personal gain, but because it is right. Do not restrict your exploration to a small world. But seek to infuse every aspect of your life with these qualities. Should you succeed in even a tiny measure, then you will be well remembered for your quality and virtue. Knowing all this, do you desire to elevation into this order? I do, your majesties. Will you pledge and continue to uphold the honor of this order? I will. Will you increase your labors and talents nobly as befits one of your rank and seek to extend your talents and abilities throughout the society? I will. Will you teach and assist any dependents you may have as I will. you have served? Then let all hear our will in full. Is there a scroll? We, Conrad and Evelyn. Right. Scroll forthcoming, we, Conrad and Evelyn, having heard the good deeds of Baldwin von Trier, thereby feel fit to induct him into the order of defense. Do you wish to swear fealty or pledge service at this time? I wish to swear fealty, Your Majesty. I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of North Shield, to ever serve the kingdom by word and sword, defender of the weak, proven in battle, tempered by mercy, generous with my knowledge and abilities, an example of courtesy, skill, and grace, guiding the people of North Shield with integrity and charity. Here, by my honor and my sword, swear I, Baldwin von Trier. We accept your gifts of service and leadership. And we'll rely on you to advise us wisely. As you light the way for North Shield with honor and charity. We will act towards you respectively in all things. Protecting you with our aid and rewarding you with our love. But may all strength fail and the world turn against any who would break your solemn oath. The sword once belonged to you alone in pursuit of personal glory, but now defends your crown and your kingdom and all its people. We return it to you sheathed in a hanger of your order. Does your lady wish to kiss? Is there a cloak? There is, Your Majesty. Your actions have reflected upon, reflected your fame <coughs> and, or infamy. From this point on, you will wear the same cloak as your brothers and sisters of the order, and your actions, good or ill, will reflect on them. Is there a collar? There is, Your Majesty. Throughout history, great and noble orders have been signified by the collars they wear so that their members may have perpetual memory of the vows they take and may be recognized as members of their order and be seen to represent the ideals they aspire to. The Masters of Defense display their symbol on a white collar which symbolizes purity of spirit with which we share our talents to all who seek guidance. This legacy collar has been worn by every other Master of Defense prior 
That being Ambrose von Passau, Niccolo Falconetto, <coughs> Piero de Silvestro Berucci, Cavellig McKinley, Edward of Kent, Tomas Ordonez Santiago de Triana, Marguerite Medicus, Michael St. Christian, Guillaume Ethos Isaac Lefort, Sybil Seven Oak, Cesar Lopez de la Coruna, Robert Talbot, Simon Morcar, and Leona Talbot. Receive from our hand the collar of the Order of Defense, three cross blades to show your defense of your crown, your kingdom, and your order. <coughs> Worn from this white collar to keep it perpetually close to your heart as a reminder so that you will never contravene the oath which you just made. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged it this day. Um. In remembrance of humble beginnings, to remember the force of the oath you have taken and the last challenge unmet. Good. <laughs> From Master Baldwin von Trier, newest companion of the Order of Defense. Vivat! Please greet your orders. 